Hello and welcome to a recap of today's CodeBuddies.org live code hangout. By joining our scheduling CodeBuddies hangouts, you can ask questions, work through tutorials, share ideas, and pair program on open source projects. Today we've been working on the Sustainable Urban Design app project and we're doing some basic uh, building blocks of spatial analysis that'll help us um, to answer bigger questions about the livability of urban environments and make it easy for other people to answer those questions for themselves in an exploratory manner. But in order to build up the analysis kind of cake, uh, the layers of the cake, we have to do some low level um, data wrangling and um, learning how things work essentially. So what we've done in specific is work on two tasks to query data from OpenStreetMaps. The idea is that we want to know for any given building, any given location in the city, how um, easily can they access fresh food and produce, like groceries from a supermarket or a convenience store. So what we need to do is figure out how food amenities are labeled in OpenStreetMap and build a basic query for that. And then how to get you know, like building footprints. These could be any type of building. Ideally, we would be looking at residential buildings um, because it doesn't quite make sense to ask about industrial buildings that are close to grocery stores. But in any case, we've got to start somewhere. So we've got these basic queries. And to make things more straightforward um, and point and click, we're working with a tool called Quantum GIS or QGIS is how it's um, officially labeled. Uh, QGIS is open source. You can access the software on QGIS.org. It's a really excellent, very powerful um, geospatial uh, toolkit. Um, the main, one of the main motivations of our um, sort of sustainable urban de design project though is to take the power of these um, open source geospatial libraries and the sort of vastness of the OpenStreetMap data and make that really simple and accessible uh, because they're not uh, simple and accessible. Uh, the OpenStreetMap data has grown organically over you know years and it's in various uh, shapes. There's not enough canonical or official way to do almost anything. It seems there's very, they're starting to get more consistency. Um, but when we looked at the raw data, it was very sparse, a lot of columns. Um, so just getting a, a sense of how the data looks and this um, QGIS tool is very capable, but it's designed for to be a, just a general purpose um, geospatial tool. And, you know, there's occasional bugs and in the plugins, they're uh, various quality. And when you look at the air, uh, the interface, it's like an airline cockpit. And most of these things are not relevant to any given task, but they're there just constantly in your face kind of a thing. And this is not unique to QGIS. It's kind of the way GIS software in general works. You almost need a doctorate just to navigate um, the interface. Uh, so anyway, I don't mean to sound too critical, but when we think about uh, usability, we really want to think about simplicity and refinement and that'll be a high level goal of our, hopefully that will steer our design process. So we'll work through this tool though, to do the initial analysis. And we made some good progress today. So I just kind of zoomed in on Tampere here in Finland and um, ran a couple of uh, bounding box uh, queries to get the, the queries I just showed earlier to get the building footprints here in blue and food sources. Uh, now. There's, the food sources are in three separate layers because some of them uh, will, are called supermarkets or convenience uh, stores and then, uh, as point um, entities. And then we have a couple of important, nonetheless, um, food sources uh, that are actually what um, would be called either a, uh, a way, I think, or multi-polygon, or you know, polygon or multi-polygon, depending on the what tool are you using? So this is in a nutshell what we were able to do. It took a little bit over an hour and a half to kind of get uh, things figured out. Uh, you know, it's fun and challenging, sometimes frustrating. 
the next uh, step will be try to figure out a way to either combine these sources or do a basic uh, query that tells us for any of these given buildings how accessible the food sources are. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities here. Um, and accessibility means several things, and it could include um, aspects like the network. And, you know, can you just walk to the uh, grocery store, or do you need to drive there? Uh, is a wheelchair accessible? Um, things like that can be barriers. So we'll start simple. We'll go small. We'll probably just do proximity analysis, something in that vein. I don't know exactly what it would look like. But hey, small victories, and we're glad to be able to make a little bit of progress. If you want to get involved with this project, we are open source on GitHub, github.com slash sustainable urban design. You can check out our, um, our project roadmap here under projects, see where we're at at any given moment. We will be working on this again this weekend. We have a few upcoming features. We're building in Python and Django, so we're kind of helping uh, our developers to get oriented in just how things work. And th with those tools, we're also using um, the Python geospatial um, ecosystem tools from there, um, some JavaScript. I mean, it's quite <laughs> a lot of things that have to come together uh, for this idea to uh, sort of become reality. And we're just in the nascent stages of the project, so we'll be glad for any feedback or contributions um, in terms of testing or your time of development, feature requests, bug reports, you name it, design, just ideas and inspiration. All of it is welcome. We, we are following the um, what is it called? All, I think it's called all contributors. We're saying that you know you don't have to be a coder to, to contribute here. If you want to help us write some documentation or ask for a feature, uh, those are all welcome contributions to the project. Likewise, codebuddies.org is an open source project. If you'd like to get involved, go to github.com slash codebuddies. The codebuddies platform is being rewritten from the ground up. So it's a great opportunity to get involved with either of two open source projects at the grassroots, at the foundation. Thanks for your time. Have a great day and stay well out there.